Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from visualnights.com. Today I'm going to show you how you can create a night model for a chess set. Now if you don't know how to create this background I have here, please visit the video tutorial, tutorial how to create a pawn for the chess set. Let's get started. Please select a line and be sure you have uh, two times smooth selected. Start at the top of the knight. Um, at the head, not of the top of the hairs. Now, please try to make uh, the same amount of vertices as I'm doing. Um, it doesn't matter if your vertices do not uh, match the entire shape of the knight. We're going to adjust that later. When we close it, we get this message, yes, we want to do that. Now, that's part one of this tutorial. What we're going to do next is we go to the modifier tab of the line click on vertex and as you can see in the geometry rollout we have this option called refine select connect first and then click on refine now we go to this vertice around the neck and click on it we get the message refine and connect now what does this say if we click on uh, refine what that does it adds another vertex just besides the uh, near the other vertex we already have but we don't want that we just want to connect it so I'm going to select do not show this message again and connect only once we've selected that click on the other side of the line and click with your right mouse button in the field now you see you have this extra line added to your shape now, we're going to add some more shapes or extra lines here um, a possibility that might happen is that the shape of the line uh, transforms a bit. Don't worry, we're going to adjust that later. As you can see, you can also create multiple um, vertices in one by just adding new uh, vertices at, at several points on the line. on here and we're doing this because we want to have some kind of a cage model we are going to which we can uh, refine later on now, of course this doesn't look perfect but doesn't matter you uh, get the point how you should start with this now, to skip the time in this tutorial, I'm going to load a previous model I created, but you get the idea how to create the first cage model. Select the line and click on Vertex. Select all the inner vertices, including the two on the bottom in the middle. Press T on your keyboard for the top view, and drag the selected vertices halfway down, uh, like half a square of the uh, grid. If you don't have grid turned on, press G, turned on and off. Go back to front view, or perspective view, better said, and when you turn around now, you can see already it's beginning to have some sort of shape. You can download this stage of the tutorial from our website, free of charge. The file contains an edited version of the shape we just created. What we're going to do now is we're going to refine this shape a little bit so it looks more like a horse or knight. What you do is select the vertice in the uh, front of the neck and click with your right mouse button on it and click on Bezier corner. What you can see is that there are four extra vertices around it. What you need to do is select this vertice and move it backwards. Same for the other one. As you can see, this shape is turning a little bit better. It has more uh, rounder curves on the neck. Now, I'm not going to do all of these vertices because it would take too much time. Um, the only one I'm going to do is this one. I'm going to move it a little bit back. And also change it into Bezier corner and change the well the form of the 
jaws a little bit. Once we've created that, I'm going to do a very important step. Um, select all the back vertices except the top one. And click on Bezier Corner. Press T for Top View. And as you can see, we have all these green uh, vertices that are standing to the left. And what we need to do is we're going to put these vertices to the right. This will give the model a more rounder, uh, fuller look, which looks better. You don't have to do exactly perfect, but you just get the idea, and that's the most important thing. Um, it's important we do the same thing with the front vertices. This one. Um, the last one on the snout is the last one we select here. Also, change to Bezier Corner. Go to Top View again. And, it's, and we do the same steps here. For the last part, we're going to select the top vertices, this one the most, the upper top one included. Again, Bezier Corner. This time we're going to the left viewport. This time we need to put all these vertices on a horizontal line instead of vertical. Voila, that's a lot better shape than we had before. We're going to apply a surface modifier to this cage model of the knight. This will create a surface upon the cage model we just created. Now select your line or cage model. And before we're going to apply this uh, surface modifier, it's important we do the following thing. We have to check if there are any, if there are any loose vertices in this model. Now, at the moment we don't have any one, but if you have one, like say here, then it's important you select it and just simply delete it. When applying the surface modifier, it's important that you have squares or triangle shapes. Once you have a five triangle or more, then it just doesn't work. Okay, so deselect the vertex level, click on modifier list and select the surface modifier surface there it is now at the moment you can't see anything that's because we're in the front view so press p for perspective view and it looks all black as you can see that's because we have to flip the normals of this model as you can see this white knight here appears on the screen pressing g for to turn off that grid as you can see here we have these slight curves in the neck and in the uh, jaws, and that's exactly what we needed. You can also download this stage of the tutorial from our website, entirely free. You can download the full and completed model of this night on visualnights.com. You can check out this YouTube channel for more video tutorials about 3D Max. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and well, I hope to see you again. Goodbye.